Welcome to this brand new six week course of belly dancing for flexibility with me, Lindsay Marie Silver here at Little Egypt Studio in Scotland. In this course, I'm gonna take you even deeper down into guided relaxation, progressive muscular relaxation, and we're gonna really ease and soothe, release and relax. At the same time as that, I'd like to share with you more of the real sacred, ancient aspects of belly dance floor work and everything that they can do for a real boost to your well-being. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you didn't already, feel free to click subscribe, turn on your notifications and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear how you find it. Let's dive in. We're going to release through the waist. Start to soften through the muscles. Let's begin to take the hips one direction and the chest another. Take the hip out one side, bring it back. Then we're gonna take it back out that direction, bring it forwards, out to the side, bring it back, to the side, bring it forward, to the side, bring it back, side, bring it forwards. How does that feel? Let's bring it out to the side and then we're going to carry on with those slides that we did. You bring the ribcage one direction and the hips the other. Really reach out now through your fingers perhaps. Slide the whole ribcage across. Extend as if you were trying to reach out and touch the other wall other side of the room there. Let's try that gorgeous arrow shape here. Bring the hip out to the side, bring it forwards to the side. Yay! Bring it back. Bring it from the side, forwards to the side, bring it back. Side, bring it forwards to the side. Bring it back. Let's slow that down to the side. Forwards. Nice. To the side. Bring it back. You can bring your hands forwards here. Bend to your knees slightly. Bring it center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tuck through our hips. Use pelvic floor muscles. Engage all the way up towards your belly button. Draw the belly button up and back. Bend through your knees. The knees are soft and relaxed. And then we're going to release that. I'm going to tuck and tilt the pelvis all the way through. Let's try again. We're going to tuck all the way under. And then we're going to tilt all the way back. Tuck. Use pelvic floor muscles there. Release. Squeeze and release. Well done. So we're going to come into a circle movement of hips now. Ah, so this is really wonderful for mobilizing through the hips. Really beginning to open up even wider through hips. Mobilizing your spine. And with these movements that we're doing at the moment as well, we're also encouraging synovial fluid production through each individual vertebrae. So what is synovial fluid then and what does it do? <laughs> it's kind of like your body's own natural WD-40. 
really helps to oil your joints, to keep them really healthy. Let's take it around the other way. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? The other thing that we're doing here is really beginning to soothe through each of your internal organs. You're receiving a little boost. into center here let's raise the hands up to the sky deep breath in expand through the ribcage slide the shoulder blades down your back bring the palms of the hands forwards bend through the knees we're going to pivot out of the hips with a nice straight flat back you can pass through tabletop and all the way down towards the ground crown of the head comes down to the ground your tailbone gently rises up to the sky. Now, unless you've been doing another session before this, chances are you're still warming up. So don't try to be a hero here. Just take it easy. We can gently move through. We can rock the hips side to side. So you can bend through one knee, maybe your right knee, and then gently bend through the left knee. So whilst we're bending that knee forwards and then gently returning it slightly, the hip is coming out on a horizontal movement parallel with the ground. And your head is just traveling in alignment with that. It's, you're not bringing any twist of the waist at this point. You're just really opening up through the legs Activating through calf muscles, your thighs, and working through the hips. Okay, from here, I'll let you decide. You can anchor your hips facing forward, still with that bend to your knees. And now you can begin to walk your hands around towards one side and open up a stretch through your waist. Or you can continue with that movement that we just did. Take a deep breath here whichever option you've gone for and as you breathe out let's return back into center and come out towards the other side now if you're anchoring your hips just make sure that you have in fact done that the hips are parallel with the ground they're in alignment there relax your neck whichever option you've gone for and here returning back into center and in its centre, let's begin to unwind gently through each individual vertebrae, returning up through the back. So that low back, up through your mid back, to your upper back. <sighs> returning your shoulders, your neck and your head. Wow. Take a moment just to check in with yourself. How do you feel? After such simple movements, you can really begin to feel very, very different. I want to just connect us with the ground now. Make sure it seems, it sounds like such an obvious thing, but we can almost forget about our connection with the ground. Everything becomes kind of brain heavy, <laughs> brain dominant. But here, I'd like to just remind us of that grounding sensation. Let's really ground ourselves. So here we're gonna lift and lower through our heels. This is really, really good for your circulation as well. We're just gonna do that a little bit. And then I'll encourage you to take your feet about hip width apart. And then you're just gonna gradually lower your heels down to the floor. Nice. Spread out through your toes. Shift your weight all the way through the outside of your foot into your heels, lift through your arches slightly. And just to ever so slightly grip on to the ground with your toes. It's a tiny, tiny little bit of that lizard grip with those. And then release and relax that. Relax your knees. Hips are in neutral, pelvic floor is engaged, chest is open and bright. Let's bring the palms down by our sides, forwards in an offering. Ah. 
With all that I am, I honor you. With all that I have, I share. <sighs> wow, let's bring our hands onto our hips now. We can take the footing a little bit wider. Let's bring one foot out to the side. And the other one we're gonna turn also here. You can either stay here, press that heel down into the ground, or if you'd like to, you can bring a bend through that front knee for an even deeper release through the back of that leg. Here we're gonna bring one of these gorgeous shoulder rolls because this can be such a beautiful compound movement. And we're anchoring through the hips in neutral, so it's not round here, we're really tucked under there. You're gonna feel that back leg lengthen and soften. Breathe a deep breath all the way into those muscles. And then we're gonna lift through the heel, shift your weight forwards and come up into center. Now, just take a moment to notice how you feel on one side of your body to how you feel on the other side of the body. Is it just me or is that like really different? Such a simple stretch, but such a difference. Let's take that to the other side now. So from here, we can literally just step back and then you can either stay with it up here or if you'd like to, you can extend a bend through that back leg into a lunge. Make sure the hips are in neutral. Use pelvic floor muscles there. So neither hip is leading like this. They are directly on to the short edge of the mat there. You can bring that shoulder roll. Oh. Ah. Really press that back heel into the ground. You can extend that bend through the front knee if you feel ready to. Perhaps you find a little pocket of space open up for you there. And four, three, two, and one. And then lift that foot and step it in to meet the other one. Now, coming about hip width apart, this time, shift your weight around the outsides of your feet into your heels, lift through your arches, ever so slightly grip on with your toes. Relax your knees, bring the hips in neutral, lift through your rib cage, shoulders round and down, palms upwards. You're in alignment, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, with all that I am, I honor you. With all that I have, I share. And release that. Ah. And now I'll invite you to join me coming down towards the ground. Let's enjoy releasing our legs. And I want to just share with you a little bit of some ancient goddess floor movements. So let's come down. You might want to bring a blanket, maybe a sweater, a sweatshirt, a hoodie, something like that. Just for extra layers towards the end. You might also want to have some hydration handy. So we can begin with a nice cross-legged position. Feel the alignment throughout your hips, all the way through your spine. This open chest feel and the palms of the hands up towards the sky. And we're gonna just focus for a moment on the breath. Let's come back to the breath. Deep breath in. Suspend the breath. Nourishing body. In your own time as you breathe out, let's purify body. Let's really cleanse through body. Your own time, next deep breath in. Nourishing your mind, 
Suspend the breath. Really feel your mind being nourished. time as you breathe out we can purify and cleanse the mind deep breath in here let's nourish our spirit suspend the breath really feel your spirit lift spirits lift they lighten and brighten. Feel your aura expand in all directions. And then in your own time, let's purify and cleanse our spirit. On your next deep breath, let's nourish purify and cleanse your body mind and spirit and let's anchor all of that positivity and uplifting emotion you can bring your ring finger of your right hand and your left hand tap them together tap 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 you can find a tempo that really works for you and you can start to sink down deeper and deeper into relaxation with that movement, with that rhythm. Perhaps that rhythm starts to slow and so too does your own heart rate. Feel that positivity and uplifting joy as it circulates around your system. to bring that tapping motion to the other tips of the fingers so you're tapping all five fingers together tap 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 and you can bring that tapping motion in towards your chest in towards heart space with one hand and in towards sacred life force energy space just below your belly button with the other hand and just tapping your fingers onto your body solar plexus in your upper abdomen we're going to bring that tapping motion onto your head onto the top of your head Anchoring in all that positivity and uplifting energy for your mind. Bring that down the sides of your head, the back of your head, down your neck, towards your throat. And then of your right hand I'm going to use my left we are gonna tap in at the center of your forehead in at the third eye area realigning and recalibrating with your higher self oh. hello <laughs> welcome home <laughs> Ah. Hmm. Then you can gently return that hand down by your side, perhaps returning it onto your knee whenever it feels right. Wow. That was lovely. <laughs> so from here, let's come down onto one side. We can bring one foot on a right angle one leg I should say and the other leg comes down just on top there we're gonna stay here in this restful position but I'm gonna ask you to do 
is to really lengthen and extend through your upper half here. You can place your hand down on the ground. And we're going to work with this gentle flurry hand movement, circling through the wrist. And as you do that, you're bringing your hand up above. And then if you'd like to strengthen through your forearm and through your shoulder, you can gently bring that down in front of you. We're also strengthening through the tricep at the back of the arm, as well as bicep. From here, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let me give you the option. You can either continue on with that or you can come into a bridge position and you're gonna roll a camel movement all the way down your body. Well done. And release that. And we're gonna wave our hands over in this circle motion towards the other side. From here, you're gonna bring one foot round the other. Roll the shoulders. Bring the hands in front of you. And here we're gonna give ourselves this gorgeous embrace. Now, chances are you might be feeling a light stretch through the outer thigh, on the outside of your glute, on this top leg. Make sure you've got nice alignment throughout the full length of your spine and you're sitting up high on your hip bones so we're not collapsed into it. We're nice and tall and bright. And let's release that. Oh. On to the other side then. We're going to unwind our legs. <laughs> Bring it out towards the side. The bottom leg, the lower leg, 90 degrees through there. The top leg extend, but keep a tiny bit of a bend. You're gonna come down onto your forearm. You're all in alignment there through the spine. You can raise that hand up. Remember, we're gonna extend through the shoulder and the arm. You can circle through your wrist. You can stay here with this movement or if you would like to strengthen through your upper half and through the muscles of your arms, you can gently come forwards with that movement. And it can be just a tiny movement, but it's enough to actually create that strengthening effect. If you're not sure if you're doing this right, if you don't feel that strengthening motion, of course, feel free to drop a note in the comments and I'll be happy to answer your question there. Now, whatever we're doing on one side of the body, we're doing the opposite on the other. So as you might be feeling this as a strengthening movement, do know that on the other side of your body, the opposing muscle in that group, you are absolutely strengthening and lengthening through the other side. On the other side, you're stretching it out. Here, let me give you the option if you would like to, you can carry on with that, or you can raise upwards. Again, you're still lengthened through here, and then we can roll a camel movement all the way down. If you feel able to, your third option is to also work with that roll motion and bring the hand down in front. That is going to give you more of an effect through your abs. And let's lower that down. Whoo, do you feel that? I definitely feel that. <laughs> Coming up into center, we can wave those hands around in a circular motion and then we're going to corkscrew to bring the other leg over the top. So both of your feet are facing away from you. Make sure you're sitting up nice and high, nice straight back, open chest. Oh. Feeling that stretch through the outer thigh and the glute of that top leg. We can roll through the shoulders. And then we can cross our hands the other way this time. You can gently grip on, reach round, keep the shoulders low, and that way you can really open up through the muscles of the back of the shoulders. You can lower your chin down to your chest. And 
and gently returning into center. Not all the way out. We can gently unwind. Wow, doesn't that feel nice? You can cross your legs in a comfortable position here right now. I'm gonna show you a chest rotation on the ground. So what you're gonna do is bring your rib cage forwards, bring it out to the side, pull back and bring it out to the other side. You're gonna feel the shoulder blades as you come forwards with your rib cage, the shoulder blades are gonna to come together, slide them down your back. And then as you come back, the shoulder blades are gonna open a little bit round your body. That's gonna have a really nice, almost like a massaging effect for trapezius and those little stubborn nodules of muscle just in behind your shoulder blades. This is also incredibly beneficial for your digestive system. So if you do find yourself having a little bit of a, a rift or whatnot, that is totally normal. Let's bring that around the other side. It's also possible in this movement that you could develop the hiccups. <laughs> and the reason for that is we're also working with the diaphragm. Bring that into center, well done. Deep breath in. Ah, breathing out, wow. From here, let's extend the feet forwards. Bring the toes in towards you. You're sitting up nice and high on hip bones, straight back. You can take the feet as wide as you like, or you can keep them close in together. I'll let you decide. But you're definitely sitting up high on hip bones. And from here, we're gonna lift the hands up towards the sky, pivot out of your hips. Well done, everybody joining me here live. That's amazing. So we're gonna come forwards. We're gonna tilt forwards out of your hips. Nice straight back, lead through your rib cage. That's it, lead through your rib cage. And imagine that you're bringing your rib cage about two or three foot in front of you. So it's a nice open chest there. And if you feel resistance through the back of your legs, just acknowledge that and breathe into that, that space. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, perhaps you notice a little bit of extra space opens up for you there. Hold into there. Crown of the head follows in alignment with the rest of the spine. And we're gonna rest here just long enough to really feel all of the benefits of this stretch. So we're not only just stretching for this present moment to release any tension that you might have there, we're also stretching to gain flexibility. So that can go with us in our everyday from here on. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out gently, walk your hands back into center. Wow, doesn't that feel good? Bring the legs together. Just take a moment to notice. Do you feel any difference? Perhaps you could rock out one side to the other on your glutes. Do they feel different? Oh my gosh, I feel like my legs are leaner and longer. I'll tell you something quite interesting. In these classes, I've actually grown by an entire inch. Wow. <laughs> All right, from here, oh, relax that through. Doesn't that feel good? From here, what we're gonna do is come down towards the ground. Bring your hands towards your chest. You're gonna elevate through your back and just lower that down. We're gonna do three of these. Place your forehead on the ground, take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, you're gonna lift upwards. Now this can be a tiny little bit of a movement or a little bit more if you like. You can press your feet into the ground. Let's release that and just relax. Deep breath in. make that really big movement. 
whichever you wish. Returning and from here, you're gonna push yourself up into a tabletop position and then you're gonna carry on all the way over and allow your hips to sink down towards your heels. You can either keep your knees facing in alignment with the mat or you can take them wide. We're just releasing out through the back there, giving your internal organs a boost. Soften through your shoulders and your arms, your neck. You can rest your forehead down on the ground if that's comfortable. From here, we're gonna lift upwards. And now I'm gonna encourage you to be on all fours and then we're gonna raise one foot up behind us. You're gonna raise and activate through your glute. At the same time as activating through your glute, you're releasing out through the front of your hip because whatever we do on one side of the body, the opposing muscle does the opposite. And we're gonna release that down. And then here you're gonna place this knee right in the center between your hands. You can bring the foot out towards the side. Slide this far away leg back. Keep the hips level. And we're really opening up through that extended leg. Now you can either stay with it here or if you would like to, you can tuck your toes under and extend, lifting that foot upwards. Now, it's really important here, you keep your hips in alignment, you've not got too much tension through your low back. If that feels like too much for you, you can return the leg gently down on an exhale. Nice alignment through your spine. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let's release that down. Untuck the toes. I'm gonna to bring this knee back into tabletop position. So let's do that on the other side of the body. So we're gonna lift that foot upwards towards the sky. Lift the heel towards the sky and the toe comes down towards the ground. See if you can extend a little bit beyond 90 degrees whilst keeping the hips level, parallel with the ground. So we're activating through the glute, we're opening up through hip flexor. And from here, we're gonna release that down and bring that knee into the center between your hands. Take that foot out to the side, you can slide this all the way down. You can untuck the toes. Again, we want alignment through the hip there. If you'd like that deeper option, you can tuck the toes, lift through your knee. So you're gonna feel that releasing through the front of your hip there. We're also releasing through psoas, muscle of the soul. Boosting lots of feel-good chemicals around our body. All those healthy endorphins. Serotonin as well. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's return the knee, untuck the toes. And from here, you can bring this knee back into center, into tabletop position here. Take your knees nice and wide, toes closer together. You're gonna bring your hips down towards your heels. And here, what I'm gonna show you is this ancient movement that women have done for thousands of years. It feels incredible. It looks very sensual. We're gonna bring our hands about shoulder width apart in front of us and just press them down into the mat or onto the ground. And your elbows have connection with the ground as well. So here, you might notice we're receiving a lovely release through our hips, perhaps in our thigh. Now, option here to slightly raise your hips upwards 
and we're gonna, we're gonna create this omi shape with our hips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your tailbone around in a circular motion. So you're gonna create this movement by gentle extension and release through the hips themselves. So you're using your hip flexor muscles, you're using your glutes, and we're rolling the hips around in a circular motion. So we're gonna go round in this, perhaps a clockwise direction. Relax through your neck if you feel to. You can place your head down on the ground or the mat or a cushion. So your forehead is connected to Mother Earth. We can take that round the other direction now. Now, if you are a woman and you have moon cycles, let me tell you, this is one of the most incredible movements that you can do when you are having a period. Lots of reasons for that. Mainly, it turns pain into pleasure. Let's bring that into center and then lower your hips down towards your heels. But this is because women have that connection with the cosmos at any stage of life. This is a movement that's so beneficial for women at any age and any stage of life. It boosts our sensuality, our femininity. It works with that root chakra. And it's very grounding. So from here, we're gonna come out of this deep prayer pose. Just gently unwind through each vertebrae and coming upwards. Take your time as you come back upwards into center. And just notice if you feel any different. From here, I invite you to join me on your side to relax or coming down onto your back. Do whatever feels best for you in this moment. You might want to bring a blanket or put on a nice cozy hoodie or a sweater. Make yourself super comfortable. As you come into deep relaxation, feel your feet, ankles and low legs sink down deeper and deeper into comfort. Relaxation sweeps upwards through your knees, into your upper legs, your hips, glutes. That relaxation sweeps upwards through long muscles of back, waist, belly, and chest. Feel the shoulders descend, upper arms release. Elbows relax, forearms heavy, sinking down, wrists soften, hands relax, even your fingers and your fingertips soften and ease. Up through the insides of your arms and underneath your arms. Relax through your shoulders and allow gravity to release any tension as warmth flows upwards through your whole body. 
Relaxing long muscles of neck onto your head. The gentle tingle. Relaxing through the muscles of your face, your eyes, nose, ears. Relax your mouth, your tongue, and your throat. Relax your brain. Relax your entire body your mind and your spirit. And enjoy the healing vibrational frequencies attuned to your crown chakra. Crystal clear clarity. And maybe just a touch of creativity and mystery. in the moment and just in your own time you can begin to return to full alertness coming back in four three and one. If your eyes were closed, you can gently begin to blink them open. Bring small movements to your fingers and your toes your knees and your elbows, ankles and wrists, shoulders. Perhaps you could gently look one side, back through center and out towards the other, back 
to center. You could bring your hands up over your head and make a big wide stretch and take a yawn. Take your time as you come back round. If you're lying down, you can gently begin to roll onto your side, pushing off with one foot and use your hand to catch yourself at the other side. Pushing up now into a seated position. And from here, enjoy feeling into that sensation of deep relaxation feeling recalibrated throughout your entire body, mind and spirit. And who knows, perhaps, maybe even slightly taller and more connected to your creativity. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. <laughs>